Okay, I'm here with Jason Bocchi, a uh, well-known uh, virtualization evangelist and uh, author of uh, the Bocchi.net forward slash blog site. Hello. How you doing there, Jason? I'm doing well. How are you doing? <laughs> not bad, not bad. Uh, so, we're coming to, uh, to the end of uh, VMworld 2009 here in San Francisco. Uh, what are your thoughts been on the event? Oh, it's been a great event. Um, I, you know, I, I always have fun at these events. This is kind of my zone. I got to, I got to be to everyone. So I don't think it's possible for me to have a, a bad time at any VMworld event, no matter what the circumstances. So it, it's been really great. So uh, from the keynotes, any any announcements here that uh, stood out for you? Yep. Um, biggest one for me has uh, been V Cloud Express. So there's been so much. Um, talk about cloud and uh, you know discussions and so forth. And I personally, I, I've been one of the people that's struggled with cloud as a concept. And the Cloud Express, finally, this is the culmination of where VMware Cloud, where the rubber meets the road. So, um, in fact, during yesterday's keynote, yesterday morning, I actually signed up uh, with one of the V Cloud Express providers to provision the VM so I can start getting my uh, my feet wet with it. So, very exciting stuff. I'm excited for VMware too. Oh, that's good. Now, uh, you, you've been the mastermind behind a, uh, a, a rather surprise um, uh, uh, production, or, or, or well, I don't know whether you call it a publication, the uh, the V Calendar. Um, yes. Came out of nowhere, um, taken uh, a lot of uh, uh, people by storm here. Um, it's been a lot of. Um, uh, a lot of people trying to get their hands on a copy, really, because uh, I believe that you um, that did a little bit of sponsorship with uh, Veeam and they've been uh, giving the, uh, the, the, the calendar away. Um, yes. Yeah, any comments on that? It must have uh, taken a while. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm really I'm happy about the success of, of V Calendar. It was just kind of an off-the-cuff idea that I came with, came up with uh, in the fall of 2008. So I'm glad that you know that I was able to, to provide that that calendar for the attendees of VMworld, and even for the people that, that aren't able to attend VM, uh, VMworld, you know, they can purchase a version of the calendar online um, uh, from, from the uh, printedowl.com website, or uh, go to my site, bakka.net slash blog, of course I have links to it there, but um, really happy that, that it was that I was able to bring it here, and um, we've, we've, we've unloaded literally hundreds of them, and, and uh, I'm thankful thankful for uh, Veeam for helping me out with that. And, yeah, and providing kind of the, the vehicle to launch this product at, at VMworld. So hopefully, uh, you know, if it does well enough, I'll, I'm sure there'll be more future versions to, to come of the V calendar. Yeah, I've been fortunate enough to get my hands on a uh, copy. I'll definitely be using it. And uh, one thing that struck me, I mean, 365, you know, tips. Uh, that, that must have taken a while to compile, put together. Uh, how, how long did it take? Um, you know, actually, so the content of the calendar, um, I already had for the most part. Um, you know, I've been working with VMware products for years uh, and, and reading blogs for years and reading PDF files and documentation for years. And um, I maintain three ring binders at home with, um, you know, with details about you know, troubleshooting and so forth. Stuff that I've, I've been spending literally years collecting information on VMware virtual infrastructure and, uh, and other VMware products. And so I've got, I already had all of the information at my fingertips and, and I started writing a blog almost a year ago um, using some of that information to, you know, to share with the community. So um, the, the collection piece of the information was already done. It was just a matter of taking that information in a large form and condensing it down to 425 characters per page. That was actually the difficult part um, because frankly there was there's a lot of information that I had that it was too technical to be condensed into that small of a calendar page so not all the entries uh, that I originally started with made it on, on the calendar but um, I also um, uh, borrowed some content from other bloggers in the community that offered up their content uh, on the calendar and, and uh, provided credit uh, where I could. Right. So, are there any plans to uh, uh, produce one next year? Oh, I, I'm I'm quite certain um, that there will there will be a new one available, a newer one available, uh, new product information. You know, we might see some once uh, you know the new version of VMware View hits the streets. We might we might see some new stuff in there on View. Um, future versions of Lab Manager. I think we're going to see a you know maybe a Lab Manager 4.5 release in the next couple of months. So. 
uh, and I understand from talking to the product manager Steve Kishi that there's going to be a lot of uh, new enhancements that have that have been waiting in the queue that are going to be in that release. So I'm, I'm personally excited for those because I'm a big Lab Manager user. So um, I'm quite certain there will be future versions of eCalendar, and you know I might even have. Uh, some collaboration from you know other authors that or other authors uh, that might wish to participate in writing the content. All right, so, no, so definitely one to look out for there. At, uh, but I mean, still a year off, and uh, you know people going out there at the moment can get their hands on with uh, 365 days of uh, very good sort of VMware related tips. Um, and, and lastly, I guess I mean I saw on Twitter uh, you passed your VCP four today. Um, yeah. So uh, big congratulations there. Thanks a lot. Brilliant. But uh, thanks. No, thanks again, Jason, and uh, Thank all you. the best. Thank Have you. Have a good show, Simon. Cheers.